Amazon's attempt to gaslight the loyal fans of The Lord of the Rings has finally reached stage 2. And if the reports are to be believed, they aren't going to stop anytime soon. At the end of season 1, the Dark Lord, Sauron, who had arrived in the Elvish Kingdom, Erigion, under the guise of Southland King, Hallbrand, guided the great smith, Celebrimbor, so that he could forge the three elven rings, Narya, Nanya, and Vilya, the most marvellous creations of his lifetime. However, if you have read Tolkien's The Similarian, then you are already aware that no one named Hallbrand ever existed in the text. Additionally, the timelines presented in the show are pretty messed up for reasons that are unknown to me. The first episode began with a rift between Elrond and Galadriel, where the former didn't want the High King, Gilgalad, to use the rings created under the influence of Sauron, but Galadriel felt otherwise. Galadriel and Gilgalad were certain that these three rings were their only option if they wanted to save the Tree of Light, which was the source of life and light for all the elven races in Middle-earth. Elrond tried his level best to warn his fellow elves of the dangerous design of the evil sorcerer, but when everything failed, he escaped to Norway's port of Mithlond, which was also known as Grey Havens. Norway, who was later known as Kirdan, means the shipwright, was one of the first bonds and Middle-earth's unsung hero. He also happened to be a close friend of Elrond's father before he left Middle-earth, though this wasn't discussed in the show when Kirdan first met Elrond. In the First Age, Kirdan played an important role in helping the elves defeat Morgoth, but because the show is set after Morgoth's defeat, I'm not sure if any of the characters are going to recount those deeds. Additionally, Kirdan always harbored a desire to journey to the west, but after Morgoth's defeat, he abandoned his dreams and decided to build ships so that he could send elves to Valinor. In the first episode of season 1, we saw Galadriel on a ship bound for Valinor, which I assume was one of the ships built by Kirdan. Coming back to the rings, Elrond had asked Kirdan to get rid of the rings so that they could never be used by anyone. But before he could throw them into the water, Kirdan felt a strange power in his hands. It felt as if the rings had been calling him all along and as soon as he opened the pouch, he heard a strange voice. Yes, this voice would sound familiar to the fans of the Lord of the Rings movies where the evil ring uses a similar voice and tries to woo a being into wearing it. In simple words, the show might be trying to establish that maybe the rings of power always had a will of their own. The next scene of the show further underlined the fact that Nenya, the ring of water, fell from Gilgalad's hands and rolled straight towards Galadriel, implying that it had already chosen its bearer. Well, is it the ring who chose Galadriel or was it the will of someone who wanted to make her his queen and rule Middle-earth? Later in the second episode, Galadriel and Gilgalad confirmed that they were having nightmarish visions after wearing the rings. They have begun to see the fragments of the future, which to the viewers might seem similar to the visions of the Seeing Stones Palantir. I'm sure the showrunners are going to explain the reasons behind it later in the series. The last question here is, were the rings really choosing their masters or had Sauron been pulling the strings all along? I mean, Sauron had forged the rings only because he wanted to control the minds of elves, dwarves and men. But here, one has to remember that he was only capable of doing so after he had created the ruling ring. In the absence of it, the first three rings couldn't be controlled by the Dark Lord. As per the book, the three elven rings remained unsullied as they were made by Celebrimbor alone which as mentioned above points out that Sauron couldn't have been able to corrupt them. So why are these jewels acting strange? Here, if the show wants us to believe that Sauron could control the rings even without the ruling ring, then it is indeed going to upset the fans even more. I also have a second theory according to which the mithril used to forge the rings might have had something to do with its eerie nature. 
Khazar Doom's Mithril was created after a fierce battle between an elven warrior and a Balrog who were fighting over one of the last Silmarils hidden under a tree in the Misty Mountains. Both the warrior and the dark creature had channeled their energies into the tree which led to the creation of a strange power that was as pure as the light and as strong as the evil. Gilgalad always knew that Mithril was a conflicted ore, yet it was the only magic left in Middle-earth that could save their race. And that was the reason why he sent Elrond to fetch the ore from Khazad-dûm. The presence of both good and evil in the rings also highlights their nature as they can be used either to protect the world or destroy it depending on the hands that bear such a burden of power. Kedan had suggested the same to Ilrond and that was the reason why the elves needed to protect the jewels from falling into the wrong hands. Lastly, we are all aware of the close association between Sauron and Balrogs which makes me believe that maybe it is the dark energies in the Mithril that are helping Sauron to establish a weak connection with the rings and the beholder. I say weak because he needs to have a reason to create the ruling ring. If he could control the minds of the beings without it, the show would face further backlash from the fans. I feel the showrunners are going to shed some light on the mystery of why the Elvish rings are acting so strangely. If not, well, it's their funeral. Thank you for watching this video. Do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching The Rings of Power Season 2. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema and series. See you at the next one and for the time being, goodbye and take care.